extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, in late March, thousands of senior citizens blocked the entrances to the country's biggest banks in a nationwide climate protest. These advocates are frustrated with banks for helping to fund fossil fuels. A 2022 report found the top four fossil fuel funders are all U.S. banks. And since the Paris Climate Agreement in 2015, they spent over a trillion dollars underwriting fossil fuel projects. As a result, some in the climate concerned community are taking their assets out of big banks and investing in banks with a more friendly environmental footprint. Recently, I visited a pioneering bank right here in the Bay Area. I'm an environmental guy. My, my passion is the environment and the climate. As founder and CEO of Climate First Bank in St. Petersburg, Ken LaRoe is not your average banker. He's on a mission to help the world through ethical banking. But there's so much other stuff. There's so much, so many things that, that need help in the world. LaRoe was born and raised in Central Florida with a love for nature, but he's watched with concern. As Florida's population boomed and its environment busted. Climate First, the second green bank he's owned, is one of a few values-based banks in Florida with a focus on the environment. The bank gives 1% of their proceeds to environmental charities and offers an aggressive solar loan program. But it's what they're not doing that resonates most with the climate concerned. We don't do fracking. We don't do dirty energy. We don't do extractive industries, which in Florida includes sod farming and water bottling. Um, we just won't do it. We won't touch it. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for the, the planet. Um, we're not going to do it. Customers switching from big banks to banks like Climate First are part of a nationwide divestment or vote with your wallet movement. The idea being that if people and organizations stop trading fossil fuel investments, it will hasten the transition to cleaner energy. To date, organizations have divested over 40 trillion from fossil fuels, including universities like Harvard, cities like Kansas City, Missouri, and ironically, the Rockefeller Fund, a fund originally built on oil. Whether the movement is working or not is up for debate. But just like so many other social issues, it has become controversial in partisan circles. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.